What do you think of that doozy? It's pretty good. Okay, so I've got a little bit of here. So it's a Helen Sun organ made in London. And uh, it was uh, made for the Adelaide Town Hall in 1877. They also made another couple, uh, one for Melbourne and one for Sydney. This Adelaide organ was uh, enlarged in 1885 and was rebuilt and altered in 1970. And then it was replaced in 1989 by another organ. And believe it or not, this beautiful thing had no home. So it's made its way up here into the Barossa region and it's been faithfully restored and it is pretty. Man, I bet you that would definitely belt out a fair bit out of those pipes. Anyway, a nice little uh, one to come and have a look at. Something out of the ordinary from wine and cheese, wouldn't you say there, Jude? <laughs> she agrees. All right, onwards to our next one. Actually, I think we might. Munchie, hungry? Yeah. Might go and do a 50s um, lunch bar. I'm just giving a donation to the... Feed the pot. Feed the pot. As I said, feeling a bit peckish. Thought this one here across the road looked pretty uh, appetizing. A 50s diner. So we're going to see what we can pick up over there, eh? All right, how's this, Jude? I whipped into this little uh, 50s diner. Where are you? Down there? Yeah. Pretty awesome little spot, eh? It's absolutely brilliant. Got so much stuff in here. It's so Memorabilia. Cute. Remind you of somebody? Wyala. There you go. It's uh, Pete, wasn't it? Hey, Pete, you got that one there in your uh, collection? Nah, pretty, pretty specky little spot. Good, good feed. So we're going to sit down and enjoy a nice, uh, what are we going to have? A, a hot dog. American hot dog. So, yep. All right, well, I hope you can hear me amongst all this road traffic. I'm in Tananda, which is part of the Barossa Valley, and uh, we've left uh, the Greenock um, Park to get here early, and, you know, it's a good thing when you come to the, uh, what is it, the Browns Brothers Donut Shop here in Barossa, it's in Tananda, it's flat out. There was people queued up at the door waiting for them to open, so, but anyway, we're going to experience a recommendation for uh, some donuts. It's a beautiful pub. Gorgeous little town. We're going to see what we can get.
up bright and early, well that's according to my clock. Um, we're at this place called Marula. Um, Cindy's brought us out here with the kids and we're going to go for a walk. Um, on our goal today we're going to be trying to find a koala and uh, there's a nice waterfall and a cave to look at. And uh, judging by the amount of people that are around this neck of the woods, it's a popular spot so let's have a look and see what we can find. First is a coffee cart, so I found that. Okay, so our first stop is 89 stairs here, up to a big uh, little indent, like a cave up the top here. So, uh, yep, we're going to go up. Got the uh, the young grandkids going up there at the moment, and uh, we'll see how they go with 89 stairs. If they can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Okay, made it to the, uh, the top of 90 steps, wasn't too bad, but that's the joys of filming. I'm able to uh, stop the camera, wait for five minutes, and then I, I sound pretty good, eh? What is breathtaking, though, is the view outside this uh, little cave that I'm in, looking across the little valley, amazing uh, rock structures and colors, and in the cave itself, doesn't go anywhere, but same again, how the, the fault lines, the colors, the type of rock and everything, Pretty, pretty staggering, it's very, very impressive. Nice little spot to just sit here and ponder and drink your cup of coffee that you bought from the local vendor. But yeah, there we have it. All right, onwards to the next location, which I think involves the water. We're still looking for koala bears though. Well, there you go. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Our first koala bear on the walk. How good's that? And, I was looking like crazy, couldn't couldn't see one, and then this thing starts grunting, and man, it makes, you know, for a cute, cuddly bear, it makes one really weird sound, so fingers crossed you'll be able to hear it while we're, we're here. I think he know, knows that we're nearby now, and he's piped up, but how good's that? We found a koala. Well, this is uh, a great little spot. Not only uh, just behind me, you can see where Jude is there and uh, looking at the koala. We were in Denmark and we were looking for um, a blue wren, I think it was called. And um, now nah, all we could find was a postcard of a blue wren. So here we are looking at this koala and down in the old creek here, there's um, a blue wren, but obviously this lens won't show it, but Jude will, Jude's got one there to pop on. But uh, how neat is that? The bird life and the animal life is pretty wicked. So, uh, the koala's drawn quite a bit of attention now. He's up there in the tree. He hasn't made that sound yet. We'll keep an eye out for more. Alrighty. Wow, what a grand view. What a cool, cool walk this has been. So close, and the neat thing about this walk is that there's so many different angles you can come to it. I mean, if you look, oh, where am I? Half over here somewhere. Yeah, there's a lookout area there. So uh, neat, very nice, very popular. That's pretty cool. There you go, a departing shot of a, a pretty popular space, a place here in uh, Adelaide. A lot of people turning up, but um, very, very pretty. I mean, especially when you see all the fabulous rock formations around you. Easy, easy walk too. So say, got all the way here with a pram and tow. Kids love it. <laughs> Press my case. <laughs> moly, moly, get bowled over. Right, well, just about the end of our little stroll 
highly recommend it. Great little place. I think it was Maralta Park. And uh, yeah, the bird life. So uh, the natural surroundings are really nice in the old koala. Highly recommend it. Uh, we'll do to pop it up, uh, Morella. Mor <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Morella Park, I think it was. Morella. Morella. 